Yeah, what you niggas don't understand out there is this. Like, I like God bitches too, nigga, you understand what I mean? Like, this is what you niggas don't understand out there on the street. Listen up. It's very simple. Sometimes you go around looking for answers, you got them already. There's always two things involved. If it's not building you, it's going to waste you. There's no like being in the middle. You ain't going to be in the middle. If I'm not building you, I'm not wasting your fucking ass. And listen up. I did a video the last time that when they walk out of your life, you close the damn fucking door. You don't open it for them no more. I want you to always understand that they had a reason to leave you in the first place. And when you're pulling back at you, they got a reason for them coming back. What's that you guys don't think about this? What's that you guys don't look into this? If I leave you, I had a reason as to why I left you. If I come back to you, it means there's a reason why I'm coming back to you. Some of them left you because you weren't the best, like I said the last time. They're coming back to you not because you're the best, like I still told you the last time. They're coming back to you because they understood the fact that they were out there looking for the best and the best wasn't even there. That's why they had to remember you. Listen up. Being single is not a weakness. Being single is a choice. Singleness is a choice. It's not a weakness. I want you out there to understand this whole shit right now, you ladies out there. You being single doesn't mean it's a weakness. You being single doesn't mean you have lost your ex and your ex happens to be the best and you can never get him back or you can never get anyone better off than him. No. Being single is a choice. You could be single because you want to focus on your career. You could be single right now because you're done with those bullshit of you always starting something you can't finish. You want to be single right now because you felt like business is a way that's going to push you forward from where you are right now. So listen up. If they ain't building you, they are fucking wasting your damn time. For young and said, time is money. If you don't understand that, you'll be wasting my whole time. I tell people, the only thing that breaks my heart whenever I get to hear about people being broken up with their relationship and all that, I call that shit relationship because there's no like relationship. I call it relationship. When you break out of that shit, you start being yourself. You don't be stupid when you break out of that shit. When you break out of that shit, you're going to start thinking, what did I do that wasn't right? What did I do that wasn't right? You put your life together. You pick up the pieces of your life together and then you forge your head. You ain't going to be thinking about someone who left you. You ain't going to be worrying your ass about someone who never cares about you. You ain't going to be worrying up your head about someone who never invested in you. Listen up. When a man invests in you as a woman, I won't tell you the truth. He's never going to dump you. When a woman invests in you, she's not going to leave you. When they say that to every successful man, there's a woman, excuse me, there's a woman who has invested a lot. She might not be investing in finances, but she's investing her time. She's investing in her ideology. She's investing in her opinion. She's investing in the support. She's standing behind you, just like the energy you never had. That's an investment. So to become a successful man, you need a woman with all those features. You don't need a liability to become a successful man. So being single out there, you ladies, is not a weakness. Being single out there, you niggas, is not a weakness. You could be having reason as to why you won't be single right now. Because sometimes you want to find yourself being attached to people because you claim you love them or you feel you love them. But at the end of the day, that shit ain't moving nowhere. We got a life to live. Our life is not being attached to another. We got our life to live. We got our opinions to make. You can't be in a relationship where your opinion don't count no more. You can't be in a relationship where your ideology means more no more. You just have to understand that if this man is heading to London and then you're going to Holland, you guys ain't making the same destination. That's what I want you to understand. Ask yourself something today. What you want for him is that what he wants for you. Because if he doesn't want the same thing as you, man, trust me, you'll be wasting your whole time. If he wants to be in London and then you want to be in Holland, then tell me, I want to ask you guys a question. How are you guys going to be in the same place at the same time? No, you guys ain't going to be. You need somebody who fears what you fear. That man that fears, that man that has a very huge phobia of losing you, that is the man that want to keep you. But when you tell me something, I want to tell you something. Listen, if that man ain't scared of losing you, then that's not the man he is. Because if I've invested a million dollars in my business, trust me, I'm not going to ignore it. I'm going to put all my focus in it. Even when I know I'm going to lose it, I'm going to do everything to make sure I'm losing it. Like I told you guys the last time, 
make your pussy gifted. And then the girl asked me, how does a pussy become gifted? I said, how do the man tell you your pussy is sweet? Listen up, all your motherfuckers out there been fucking niggas and some. Have you ever found yourself being a woman waking up in the bed with a nigga and he tells you I'm a how you care right now? That's what means a pussy is gifted. A pussy can be gifted when that man fucks it and run away, never even send you a text. Man, that pussy is cast, not gifted. A man should behold your presence. A man should respect your presence. A man should feel the aura of your presence. A man should smell you. A man want to keep you. A man want to see you all the time. When you are in that woman that that nigga don't want to do anything to be with all the time, excuse me. You ain't going nowhere. Stop asking questions. Stop asking if he loves you or not. You know the answer. You're the one wearing that tiny shoe. You know where it pains. You know where it aches. You have your answers already. If you've been with him for one, two, three weeks, if you've been with him for one, two, three months, if you've been with him for one, two, three years, if there's no impact, you, you or yourself, you know that there's no impact. If I spend too much on a woman, if I have invested a whole lot in a woman, trust me, even when she tells me she's done, I don't tell her now, baby, we can make this happen. But trust me, if he doesn't invest in your ass, he's gonna waste your ass. Now, this is the answer to what you ladies are looking for. Each time they leave you, they want to come back to you. You know why they left you in the first place? Because they did not invest in you. You were important to them. And do you know why they come back again? Because they know that you're the fool that you are. They know that you love them too much and it becomes a weakness. They know that you can do without them. They know that you feel like they're the best that's ever happened to you. That's the true reason why they leave you and they come back to you. People are going to leave you when it's not beneficial no more. But when they go out there and find out that nobody's even being supportive and with you, you have a little shit to give. They come back looking for you. And you know why they go pressurize you? Because they have taken you for an option. When they left you, they left you for a reason. And when they're coming back to you, never you forget. They come back to you for a reason. What I'm telling you niggas right now, it's not about relationship, it's about friendship, it's about every shit about life. When people walk out of your life, you need to find out the reason as to why they did. Probably you could be the reason, but you really need to know the reason. That's the more reason why when you run and fall, you need to look back as to what make you fall. Because when you don't look back to what make you fall, you go keep running and go keep falling again with the same occurrence. The same shit that made you fall yesterday is the same shit that's gonna make you fall again tomorrow. But when you fall, you get your ass up, you look behind, and then you find what made you fall. Trust me, when you see that shit again while you're running, you ain't gonna fall with that same shit. So when they leave your life, you tend to ask yourself questions. What did I do wrong? What did I do right? Why did they leave me? Wasn't that good enough for him? You'll get answers for yourself. Don't just blame the nigga for leaving. Also put yourself in a position because I said something to you niggas the last time. Hey, listen up. Whatever problem you find yourself in, you're part of it. If that relationship didn't work, you're part of it. Because you are the one in the relationship already. That's what makes you part of it. So when he leaves you, ask yourself that question. What did I do right like a woman? So that you will understand the fact that he never appreciated you at all. So when he's coming back to you, you should sit your ass down and want to know the reason as to why he's coming back to you. He left you before and now he's coming back to you. Don't we think when you leave me as my friend, why do you do that? When you're coming back to me as my friend, why are you coming back? Because you left me, you said I wasn't good enough for you. But right now, you won't be in communication with me all the time because you feel like I'm the best that you've never had. Hey, listen up. Do not let no more fucker take as an option. You got a life to lead. You got a decision to make. You got your opinion to contribute. You got your ideology to bring on the table. Every right partner is going to support you. Every right partner is going to help you shape in your life. If your opinions are not better, he's going to tell you how about these other opinions. If your ideology is not smart, he's going to tell you how about we do it this way. That's what relationship is about. That's what friendship is about. That's what bonding is about. But no one is going to deny you of your opinion. No one is going to deny you of your, of your own ideology. No one is going to deny you of your own ability. If it's not good at all, go and support it. But when they abandon your ass because you were never good at all, when they come back to you, I bet you give them a, a hug because those motherfuckers are haters. Only haters want to use you and come back to you whenever they didn't make fit.
You don't go and let people take you no more as an option. You have the sign. You see it all by yourself. Young and me said, before you judge me, step, please put yourself in my tiny shoes. You're the one with the whole saga. You're the one with the pain. You're the one with the happiness. You know it. Don't let no one deceive you. If I'm dating you, if the relationship is toxic, I know it. I don't need no pastor to tell me because I'm the one in it. It's our time for people out there to say I've got a voice. And my voice ought to be heard. If your partner truly loves you so much, if that friend truly cares about you so much, what they go and do is they go and tell you no. That way you're looking at is no right. This is the best way to look into. No, they're not going to abandon you because of your opinion. They're not going to neglect you because of your ideology. They're not going to ignore you because of your ability. Your ability might not be anything to me, but I can invest so much in your ability for it to become some. This is 2021. I keep telling young niggas out there, this is 2021. I keep doing video about 2021. What they did to you the last time, don't let them repeat it again. The reason why you cried the other day is because you don't want to cry the same tears again. Get up. Pick up the pieces of your life together. When they say you're numb, for the, for the mere reason why they say you're numb, that's the more reason why you need to prove to them that you're some. When they tell you you're numb, they left you because you're numb. They're coming back to you because they know you're numb. But if they left you to be numb, then when they're coming back to you, you're some already. They're going to talk to you with respect. They're going to look at you from a different angle. But when they leave you and then you're in that same position and they come back to find you in there, that's when they take you as an option. When they leave you on that scene, the next time they should be seeing you in Bahamas. When they left you with a car of 100,000 shillings, the next time he should be seeing you, that you're in your Range Rover. That's the more reason why he's going to find out that he has lost a whole lot of shit. When they left you, you, you sit your ass in there. You start crying. You start nursing pains. Those times you spend crying. Those times you spend nursing the pains. Those times you spend looking about how much you guys have gone together, how much you guys have come through. Hey, listen up. People are going to definitely leave your life, whether you like it or not. They're going to walk out of your life. I've grown up with a lot of people, but I can't tell you I'm in contact with all of them right now. Sometimes if they don't walk out of your life because your energy is not colliding, if the energy can be a collabo, they go and walk out of your life. If it's not colliding, they go and walk out of your life. If the understanding is not in mutual places, they're going to walk out of your life. I could walk out of your life because my energy is better than yours. I could walk out of your life because you're known to me. I could walk out of your life for any reason that I, I deem it fit. And if they don't walk out of your life for reasons, nature will bring death to take them out of your life. So you don't think that for one, anyone is going to stay in your life forever. But trust me, if you're that bitch out there, try not to make any nigga your ex. How many exes are you gonna have? You bitch, you gonna have a lot. How many exes are you gonna have? How many exes are you gonna have before one man appreciate you? When you fail one time, build yourself better so that another man would appreciate you. This is 2021, and that's your homeboy, Grace.